Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Sit Down. I am here today with the very funny Mr. Brett Rabel. Hello, Brett. Hey. Thank you very much for having me. It's nice to be sitting down with you, Andrew. Thank you uh, for coming on. I have to do one thing really quick and make sure that this is on public. Okay. No worries. Um, hold on. Hold to cut it. Hold. Thank you for having me on, Andrew. This is nice to sit down with you. Uh, thank you for coming on, Brett uh, uh, Rabel. Uh, I hope that you've had a good day thus far. It's been not the best day. Uh, I had to spend a lot of money on a new, tr- new transmission for my 2001 Honda Accord. Oh, so, uh, for a car. Yeah. Yeah. My appearance fee on this podcast is actually one new <laughs> transmission. So <laughs> you're about to get slapped with a pretty hefty Venmo, my friend. Well, uh, the worst part is like I don't have a truck, so I'm gonna have to put your transmission in my car and drive it there. Yes, because uh, mailing this thing. I mean, well, uh, my mailman's he's not he's not built for transmission sure. carrying. Sure, he's just not. That's all right. I'll just take a Venmo of the face value of it. Uh, face value of like a if you could just. Well, what year is it? 2001 Honda Accord. Okay, 2001 Honda Accord. Um, yeah, this year, eleven dollars. Um, so All right, fine. <laughs> uh, you know what? That was what my my envisioned at price is was zero. So I, that's just me going. I'll take the deal. <laughs> it, uh, roughly eleven dollars. You know what? I'll take the deal. And, I'll take the deal. I'll take the deal. Thirteen hundred dollars in labor. That's. Hey. Uh, Better than zero. I'll take the deal. Eleven dollars. No. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a lunch. It's a it's a lunch out. Um, but this was great. This was the annoying part about it. You ready? Uh huh. So I had to. I went to the mechanic. I don't trust mechanics that only speak English. Does okay. that makes this? If you don't really speak English that well, I actually trust you more as a mechanic. Sure. <laughs> Tr- truly. I'm not even like, they're like his local Hispanic mechanics. I'll take the car to, And you're like, then you Google what the cost is. And you're like, Oh wow. He is, he is a good guy. And then you take it into goddamn Midas and you're just slapped with like, oh what is God. the, just opening yeah. the hood charge. Yeah, what is the, all like these just nickel dime. For, yeah. Yeah. It's just like, so it's just, $95 just for just checking the check engine just to run the thing. So anyway, so I take it in and fortunately I found this guy and uh, the cost though, this is what sucks is, I, and I'm just turn, I'm the turn. I'm sorry if I'm hijacking this podcast no, to just no. bitch and, and people you're like, this is not the theme of the pod at all. And before you can even talk about the theme, I'm like, no, I no. gotta complain about my you, day. <laughs> you are the theme. Um, I'm just imagining I got like you're about to say like the worst part about this is he was he would only accept uh, like I don't know the currency, but like Filipino, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> he would only accept like uh-huh. uh, pre 18th century Greek money for oh, some yeah. reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. They only I had take to pay them in aluminum sculptures. <laughs> it for, it, I mean, when you put it that way, it's not as inconvenient as that. Just Greek yogurt, a that's lot so of it. Yeah, it's a bartering system. I have <laughs> eggs from the chickens. It had to weigh like the yogurt had to weigh as much as the transmission did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's funny imagine him like walking out like i got bad news for you so i got the weights kind of mixed up i accidentally put close to 400 pounds of Greek yogurt in your 2001 honda accord instead <laughs> of transmission i hope that's fine uh i think it should it should work I no what was the what was the annoying i, li- I like I li- no 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 worries <laughs> um dude it was 1600 dollars, which sucked and then yeah. 
what sucked is I go, I brought a check, and then they're like, we don't take check. It's You can use a credit or cash. I go, what? I know there's always an extra charge with the credit card. So the credit card charge would be $160. Of because sixteen hundred, so I'm like I'm not doing a credit card. I'm not I'm not mad at this guy actively in this moment. Sure, uh, but in my head I'm like I'm not doing this credit card. So I'll, I'll just I'm, it's in a random area of Brooklyn. So I just go to the nearest deli ATM. The max you can withdraw is a thou is two hundred dollars. So I just have to do that eight times. Keep doing that. And here's the thing: this is the this Bro. deli is not in a nice area. It's or this bodega. So I'm just like. Look around, and I'm like, I think some folks notice. Hey, this guy just keeps. They can hear the the ATM. <laughs> You're like, it's either in twenties or tens. This guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> the ATM isn't dishing out ones, and it's just like, oh wow. But even still, it's a lot of noise. So, uh, anyway, I like to imagine uh, that as this is happening, the ATM just keeps on saying like. Here's your two hundred dollars, and it, like you, they just have to like keep hearing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, man has taken two hundred dollars. Can't bench press that much either. <laughs> hey everybody, no, this guy's... little to no combat experience, hand to hand. Generally, you know, flight based, <laughs> flight based uh, non flying bird, um, but. So all that money, and then the max you can take out is five, and then my debit card's like, you can't withdraw. My max, I just learned my max withdrawal, maybe for the month, or maybe the, it's maybe it's the day, is a thousand. Like you can't. Ultimately, I'm glad. I that's a good rule, you know, because. You know, you don't want to just allow someone to just, oh, they get it. Right. They can just keep cleaning. So it's a good rule, but I'm annoyed because I'm like, God damn it. I'm still going to get slapped with this sales tax. And I'm, each thing. ATM withdrawal fee is $2 from that, like oh, just that ATM. Because, you know, it's just one of those like generic ATMs. Right. Whatever company, who is that company? Oh, those the one guys are loaded. Like Sky Bank, and it has like a, it has like a, a picture. Of like yeah. a, a like a process like a computer ground. Yes. And it says like uh pending, pending, pending it like flashes. It looks it's, it's like a in. generic like Grand Theft Auto E, like the type of ATM that's in GTA. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it is no company. What company <laughs> is that? ATM company. Yeah. That's what I yeah, exactly. It's the ATM company, like <laughs> it's so funny. There's no, it doesn't, you know, the other ones we know. That's a Bank of America. It's a Chase. That's Whatever. a gray one. <laughs> yeah. That's a, the gray. Who the yeah. fuck is that company? Uh, who they are is I just gave them $16 today. Well, I gave the B bodega $16. Who knows what percentage of that they get? I don't know how it works. They got to just be taking a commission. What do you think their commission is right now? We can look this up. Commission of an ATM. Wait, how much? I, I don't, we got to keep talking because Googling uh, is different. I'm, look, I'm looking up like uh, <laughs> IDs that, um, like, how much money yeah. do you make, you know? Right. Like if you have an ATM, looks like right on right. Average. Euro Tem ATM fees. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Point is that company's rich. They're doing great because their, oh, their ATMs okay. are everywhere. So people that this is an average of like people that have ATMs. So a percentage of that uh the two dollar fee is paid to the company, like the I figured ATM like, company, yeah, like but 10%. then also the store that has it. <clears throat> so it, it looks like on average you make twelve hundred dollars per month if you have an ATM in your but I live in Brooklyn. I'm just gonna put an ATM right outside my apartment. They, just... Someone is going to tie that to a car and then 
Philip full of just nickels. I think that would be funny. I like this idea. This is a good bit. This is an ATM, but only for nickels. Well, they, yeah. <laughs> other than pennies, of course, you, the least you convenient can. change. You can only take out like $20 at a time, but it, because it's in nickels, of course. So that's what that's 20. That's 400, 400 nickels to get 20 oh bucks. God. And no one's going to try to steal it because it would be so heavy. Oh my God. How much? <laughs> let's see. Just wonder, satchels of nickels. Uh, how much does $100 in nickels? Uh, typo. $100 in nickels weigh. Here we 20, go. 22 this is, pounds. <laughs> this is turning in the... Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. So that's, <laughs> that's you'd have to have... Wow. <laughs> a hefty amount of... Oh, that would, my God. Yeah, that would be 200 pounds in currency. I don't know if and, this is uh, true or not, but like I'm just gonna say it like it is because I spread misinformation on this podcast. Um, oh, really? I, yeah, I heard that. Uh, what? It, like what I'm about to say? Uh, Samsung was sued by Google at or no by Apple at some point for like using the S voice as opposed to whatever they kind of cloned the Siri thing, um, and I, they like lost a lawsuit, so they paid like five million dollars or whatever it happened to be in nickels. I don't know if that's true, but I heard it one time, and I've just been telling people that for a very long time. That who wait who paid in nickels? I think uh, lawsuit paid in. Oh wait here, here's a lawsuit that was paid in pennies. Hey, you want to hear information? You want to hear misinformation? Are you ready? Yes. The Earth is round. My ass. Yeah, yeah. If the Earth is so round, then where where do the sun go? Seriously though, actually, yeah. But I, I no, but actually, if you do do your own research, you will see that the Earth is flat. It, you have to you have to do your own research. Yeah, I, I just I actually went outside. Uh, I don't know, probably like a week ago for the first. I time. don't see China um, from where I live. <laughs> Yeah, I just like I look down the road, it's flat. How how the earth do that? It can't. That's right. That's Unless right. it's flat. Yeah. I would see the curve. That the is curve. right. And if I throw a ball hard enough, I should be able to hit myself in the back of the head. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell uh, you about those them. I love flat earth, by the way. I love those people. I really do. They're I don't actually, know if it's ironic or not. At this I, point, I th well, Kyrie Irving was that. It's a really great conspiracy because it requires a belief that so many different people are incredible at keeping the lid on this wild reality. Do you know what I mean? Like the huh. if 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 that they're basically saying every person in space from every country. Every person who's worked in space departments, they're all lying. That's thousands of people from hundreds of cultures and organizations, thousands of cultures and organizations and languages yeah. and different levels of every position and everyone's in on the take. And keeping that a secret. In keeping it a secret. Pilots, every pilot, every, every person who works in pretty much in air travel. I mean... Any telescope people, what everything. So I think, like, I love it. You know I how they it. say, like, uh, you know, sober uh, words or like, or drunk words or sober thoughts or whatever. If you got really drunk and you were like a high up person, you like looked at someone, you're like, Earth's flat. They'd be like, yeah. okay. <laughs> so like, even if it were, if it were truly flat, yes, which it is. Would anyone believe you if you told you know what I mean? Like, it, it's I, like I, you're like Madonna's actually a Kom uh, Komodo dragon. It, people would be like, okay, sure, bud. Let's get you to bed. Let's get you to bed, Grandma. You know, that's kind of the vibe that like Earth is flat would. Oh, uh, it's so funny. I'm feeling very you're inspiring me right now oh. because uh, 
I'm I'm working on a script uh, that's about uh, takes Madonna? place in ancient. No, no, no. It takes place in oh. ancient Mesopotamia. Like oh. it's a comedy script that takes place in that yeah. era. And you just, it is inspiring to me that uh, the bit of, since this is like 5000 BC, everyone is a flat earther and their round earthers are our flat earthers. They're like, you know, like, <laughs> round, hey, round earther, but we love him. <laughs> um <laughs> it's also, like it's funny to imagine like those those ancient civilizations where like you wouldn't go past the river you know yes but just imagining them being like there's land past the river and then someone just being like yeah that's called heaven that's where you go when you die there's you can't <laughs> you can't get over there just <laughs> it's, it's it's right there it's i don't know 5,000 yards. I don't remember that much about Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia had like, there was like the first nation with plumbing. Is that? Uh, like irrigation. Um, I don't know if they did it, had irrigation, but I've been doing a little reading about it, but they were pr actually incredible early civilization from what I've read. Uh, Let's see. I mean, the cradle of civilization. Let me, wait, let me, this is turning into a, very amateurish ancient Mesopotamian podcast, which I obviously could lead as someone who's read so, read a few little Wikipedias, read some online stuff. Oh my god! To a podcast or two. You know, it's read crazy. Part Is of that the book. In my uh, research about Mesopotamia, uh, I looked at this tablet, and it was actually a picture of you. So, no big, no big deal. Wow, uh, that would that would be it, awesome. Do you want to see? Do you want to see this? It's sure. actually, it's a very old, Here very, very old. This is going to be a good roast. Here we go. It's look God. at Darn. this tablet that I, wow. I found. Wow. Uh, they had access to yeah. was, a uh, stand-up photo of me. That's good. Uh, this actually is Stendupin, uh, st 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 which means uh, the messenger. That's uh, you, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wow, know. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, that's right. I'm related. I'm actually related to you know. There's always people from history who look like you're like, yeah. oh, it's like that famous person, but it's like a photo of so, mm -hmm. I don't know someone from like 1905 or 1890 or whatever. You know what I mean? Or yeah. even like an older painting. Yeah, that's that. That's an ancient Mesopotamian high priest that mm -hmm. you're uh, yeah. That you're looking at, and Especially. it would make sense that in my bloodline is someone who could communicate with the divine, which is an ability I retain to this day. Uh, uh, Drew said that they had irrigation, so oh, they had irrigation, Drew. I just didn't know if they were the ones who invented it, you know. But, um, yeah, that's why they call it, they used to call damn it, it. The, the mess up a toilet. Mess, hey, that's a good roast. <laughs> Take that, Drew, uh, Mesopotamians. If you're dude, take chat. take that, yeah. Drew, check it out. The um, ancient Mesopotamians. Feel free to fact check me. They invented math. They invented writing. They, I believe, invented keeping track of time. Like they were aware that there was 24 hours in a day and they had a it was like they figured out the mathematical system where everything's to in the not like the 12th degree but like what's that fuck you know what i'm talking about where it's like the way it's things are logged or counted anyway they're incredible civilization and uh it's you ready to hear counting huh? it's called counting <laughs> no but it's it's like counting with the base a, a base that's related it's the exact base we use to keep track of time. That's does that make sense? I'm not a I, clearly I'm not a math person. I don't wait, say what you just said a little bit differently because I don't understand what you're saying. The base, uh, what do you what you mean like a zero sum, like going from a zero sum to with a different base. This is really becoming the Google, the Googling show. All right, uh, counting uh, with bases, uh we're like we're in a base ten. To oh, baseball! Base. Yes, baseball. They invented baseball. Um, oh. It's true. 
<laughs> That's a fun one. They, yes, they invented baseball. They they invented foot American football. Um, oh. Wait, you ready for the most fascinating thing? Is is Drew the, oh. Drew's the producer, right? No, Don is a producer. Oh, um, hell this yeah! Is, this is just uh, someone watching. This is my boy That's, Drew. Yes, Drew. Thank you. They Drew made just... the sixty second minute. Yes, that was it. Oh, sex adjustable. That, that's it. That's what I meant. That's it, right? Is that? Is that yeah, that's what. That's what. Is that's that what that's called? Yeah, sex adjustable. That's that was what I meant, and uh, obviously you're not dealing with a math guru. Um, although you know, did did do uh, AP in high school, so you are dealing with a prodigious natural talent. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. <laughs> I got like a three yeah. on the test. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. yeah. Oh, first to write is debated. First mm -hmm. to write is debated. It's very interesting. Um, I, I feel like um, I'm an I'm an internet person from Ohio. I'm not even real. That It's, you know, he may be real. He may not be real, but he is from Ohio, Drew. which is a sin. We're getting a comment from Drew. And I, I just need to know it's not AI. I need to know Andrew isn't using AI to generate random comments that are very hyper machine learning and are able to track our conversation. Okay. And that's actually that's my friend Dalton. He does like ghost hunting stuff, and he's uh. That's awesome. Uh, really? Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Dalton, what's the name of your um, Midwest? Midwest uh, something or another Midwest ghost monster. hunting mid Midwest legend hunters. That's what it is. That's dope. That's the ghost hunting group is the, what's the right term team. Uh, uh, Bust, Bust, dare I say busters? Uh, I think he uh, Midwest legend hunters. Yeah. That's, okay. That's um, dope. He said AI is for Democrats and comics. So, <laughs> Hoorah! What's the <laughs> Semper Fi, motherfucker? That's, uh, I, that's how I agree. Don't tread on me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, that's awesome. That's so funny. Oh, um, um, what were we talking we, Just, Just some... Oh, uh, I don't know if you call them like a team or like a... Like a... Oh, ooh, that, you know, it could be like crows, you know, because like, they, like a murder, but also because mm. of a pun. You know what I mean? Like... Ghost hunters, but it's like a murder. You know what I mean? Like murders no, cause in this case. murders cause ghosts, and a group of crows is called a murder. Okay, so you get, you get what I'm getting at? Yeah. Okay, I'm following. What's the name of it? I was just saying we get like instead of a group, we'll call them a murder, a murder of ghost investigator. You know what I mean? Like, all right. Hey, maybe it's, maybe it's too wordy. We'll we'll we'll. Dalton, we're, I'm taking it. Up, I'm just taking it up the flagpole. You said I uh, hate you, Riggs. I'm just I, taking I, it up the flagpole. I'm just taking it up the flagpole. You know, I do we'll, two things. I take it up the flagpole and up the ass. Okay, I'm a yes man. <laughs> Either you're gonna take this up that flagpole or in your ass. <laughs> Either right. way, I guess I. You both? ask, ask me, ask me if I'm willing to have anal sex. Just that we asked me that. Are you willing to have anal sex? I'll take it up the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is entertaining, I but people. at least I feel tickled. That's that's what that's what matters. Um, <laughs> so you you are gonna write. So to, to stick to like, you know, era to uh, what is that called? Um, Eras. No, it's Taylor like Swift. so. Daniel uh, Daniel Day Lewis was like um, well known for this, uh, right? Like me gay guy, right? Method yeah. acting, right? Yes. It, yes. Where you become immersed. So your Mesopotamian thing, you should yeah. chisel instead of write. <laughs> I think it's you're actually you're absolutely right. I have yeah. I've actually ordered hundred thousand a thousand tablets <laughs> from amazon.com <laughs> it's, it's the first chiseled screenplay 
And it's actually in cuneiform, which is the first er, the early Mesopotamian writing. It's in their language. I'm fluent in That's ancient cuneiform. Cuneiform. Look that up, Dalton. Yeah, Google Cuneiform. C U N E I. Yeah, that's right. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I really do want to own property one day. And I don't know if it's that I would really like to tell someone to get off my property. Get, get out of here, you. Do you own property? Do you? Do you I do. No, really? That's amazing. Do you ever tell someone to get off my land? <laughs> so, no. <laughs> I, guess I own land like in another state. So like, um, I don't know. I'm never there. Like, right. It's just undeveloped. Just for like hunting and gardening oh, really? and stuff. Yeah. It's just so like, when my son grows up, he has a thing. That's cool, dude. That's really. Do you have a son? I do. That's awesome. I love that we can BS for about nothing for like a half hour, and then uh-huh. I'm now like, okay, let me ask you a genuine personal question. Uh, yeah. That's really cool. My son We're, is Mesopotamian, so I'm, I had to like. Wow, you should. Yeah, it's very. I'm glad you should know more about. You should know more about Mesopotamia if your son's Mesopotamian. He can barely talk. They only used it for tallies, taxes, and that's right. That's a fun fact. And Mrs. Um, what like their language? I like that you're saying this, Dalton. You're speaking to not to talk. I love that you mentioned you have a son, and I'm like, but my screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> but, about about my, <laughs> but about my screenplay. How wait, how old is your son? Three. That's awesome. Yeah. Where's the land? Kentucky. Really? Uh-huh. That's so cool. Is that where he's growing? Is that where he lives? Or does he live? Are you in New Jersey? Yeah, I'm in Jersey. He lives here with me. Okay, that's dope. Yeah, that's so cool. He actually that's- just lives on the land. Uh, I haven't <laughs> seen or talked to him, and he's three now, so mm-hmm. four years. Well, that's I, you know, he's gonna he's gonna be he's gonna live off the land. That's what I do in New York City. I live right. off the land. I have a small tomato garden in the backyard, and I live off it. I just eat tomatoes. We actually just planted a bunch of stuff like uh, last week. Uh, onions, uh, blueberry tree, and uh, potatoes. Hey, when, when those are done, we're gonna put tomatoes and herbs in. Nothing better than that homegrown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like that, uh, in New Jersey, I, I don't know what it's like up there, but like here, there is a dispensary every like two miles, it feels like. It feels like no matter where I go, there's always another. Dispensary. Oh my god! I it, no, yeah. There's, uh, there's. I I'm actually opening up a dispensary in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> there's a dispensary in my living room, actually. Yeah, yeah. You're you're so, absolutely right. It's so funny, dude. I so I quit smoking. I quit smoking weed in 2000. I want to say 14. And then maybe like a couple times after that, but I haven't like actually smoked in a while. Mm. Um, I still do edibles, but like, man, you you've you've been concurrent in your your weed use, I mm. assume. Um, trying to go back to like smoking weed if you haven't smoked weed in years. Oh yeah, it it'll Fuck it up. will ruin your day. Really, it'll. It's like, so, okay, so my uh, mother-in-law, I, like, smoked with her yeah. probably about a year ago. <clears throat> and she gets this, like, really good weed in, and I, uh, I, like, took a hit. I took a hit. And I was sitting there, and my legs, I couldn't, my dumb brain was like, I can only feel my legs if I'm touching them, which is all of the time. But it freaked me. Like you, right now, you can't like, right? You know what I mean? Like, and I was like, no, this is weird, right? Like, you, I shouldn't be able to. And it was like, <clears throat> and I coughed a little, and I yeah. was like, 
my throat's closing. <laughs> I got, uh, oh, so I had cotton mouth. I had cotton mouth, and I was like, "This is it. This is the yeah. end of all days." I've right. I've yeah. had it. It's it is probably way stronger. I watched you do the one chip challenge live. Oh, is oh that one of those? God, you did one of the spicy chips. Yeah, the the it's like it's it's like this big, like it's little. What a bitty. What, a, what a brilliant! Uh, sorry, my brain goes here, but like, what a brilliant business! You just like one chip. You how much is it? Three bucks? No. It's like, let's see how much it is. Um, I don't want to click off of your, uh, but this is this a Mem beautiful Mem Mesopotamian tablet that I found. Uh, the one chip challenge. I, someone died from it. Um, yes, yeah, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be actually <laughs> fucking hilarious that like we're like oh my god Stephen Hawking how did he die like you think it's like ALS or whatever whatever degenerative condition he had and then it's just, car wreck he, did, he was driving <laughs> yeah. no I actually he shotgunned uh, three, three four locos <laughs> he was he actually partying really hard he was he was at um you he's at the Texas A and M. Yeah. He was at a frat party, unfortunately. And he was gonna give a speech the next day, but he was just got you know blown off some steam the day before. He's at uh Sigma Delta Pi. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the that's one so chip funny. challenge, it looks like they're about twelve bucks. Wow. They're selling one potato chip for twelve dollars. The margins on that business, man, are, are insane. Oh my god! And it kicked a, your ass, huh? I, I have a bit about it because it was. I have two bits about it. But go on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just... Well, I have five now, so. <laughs> and I have um, six, and my dad is stronger so... than your dad. <laughs> my dad can do so many push-ups, dude. He can do a lot. Why won't it let me post wheelchair gifts? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. You're gonna have to take that one up with the uh, Steam Yard Inc. No, this oh, is on Facebook and YouTube. He that's where he's oh. watching. Okay, uh, you're gonna have to take that up. That even that's a higher flagpole. You're gonna have to mm. get this guy is all about flagpoles. If you've learned anything, it's true. Flagpoles. Um, I love a I love a good flagpole. Oh, yeah, dude. The Nest. one chip challenge, man. Like, I drank a gallon of milk in like three minutes. You're just trying to calm your system. Yeah, it, it felt like the way I could describe it is like my throat felt like JFK's head. Like, it was wide open. Would just destroy, like, yeah, and you you poop these things out, you know, like most. Oh, that must they, have. Most, yeah, yeah, oh you. my god, I was lowering the resale value of our home. The things that came out of my body could take the paint off your Honda Accord. Really, I, I actually was, need. I can't afford varnish right now. But eat one of those uh, things. No, and I would like your poop. poop. Actually, I'm actually all out for the month, so. Hmm. Um, that's unfortunate. I've had my uh, poop quota, so. Sorry. Well, that's okay. Have a hot chip, drink some coffee, um, and you'll be shitting in no time. But no, that uh, is something that, on one hand, I like the idea of doing it because I like doing stuff that's just like, I don't know, I got, you know, I got, th I don't know, 30,000 days on this earth. Or oh. some shit. You know what I mean? Like, why oh, not just like be live really and let live, live and let yeah. live? Why not just do this thing that I know is gonna suck for a day to three days in some way? Yeah. But I'll forever have a story, and I'll forever be able to laugh about it and at myself. Oh. And isn't that worth the discomfort? Is that if? What do you think of that perspective? I think that it's not worth it. Yeah, how long did it kick your ass? The side effects. Well, uh, oh my god. Um I was 
literally i felt like i was on fire for probably 15 minutes and then i just felt like because you like you, the temperature of the inside of your body changes dramatically because of how hot it was mm-hmm. so like you just have this these remnants of anxiety for like an hour after I was just like scared. My wife didn't drink anything because the the challenge is like, can you eat this and not drink for 45 minutes? My wife ate it and forgot about it and didn't drink anything for like two or three hours. So she just, she just sucked that sucker down. She'll just eat like she'll eat Carolina Reapers. Like, like you eat bugles, right? It's, right. It's one of the craziest. Like, so your your wife's a a, a boss when it comes to like hot yeah. sauce. Yeah. It's she really, really... she actually because I you know I actually do love spicy food, but I there's no way I this type of level of spice where it's like <laughs> ass kicking. Like that's not. It's not like a a hot hot sauce type of hot. Like it's no, like, like we go to it's terrible any food. Indian hot. Any Indian restaurant, she gets the hottest that they have. Um, any like um, the Korean places, the the oh my gosh, it, like damn, she, she we gotta get her. Stuff, yeah, she'll eat stuff that'll make my eyes water from across the table. Like, we gotta get her on hot ones. She, you wouldn't notice. You, you would be like, "Those are fake." What? We gotta what get she's on eating that, right now. It's on fake. that. Uh, what's that guy's name? Sean Evans. Yeah, the hot ones. Wow, your wife, you, your wife, you, our carry, wife, had to carry you out. Like someone had to say it. Thing. Dalton might be a Mesopotamian expert, but he is not a grammar expert. Know what I'm saying, Dalton? Well, roast. Uh oh, he's gonna he's gonna then type, "You're a tool," but it's gonna say "Y O U R." Y apostrophe R E. Yeah, he, he, he Y apostrophe O U. It's like, dude, that's not even close. You should no, know. But, no, he's right though. I I did. I you did. Like, your wife carried you out. It, it was like the end of uh, the animated Hercules. You know when he's like dragging her soul from the river sticks. Kinda. That was, yeah. That was me. I was like, go, go on without me. And she was like, I can't leave you. I don't know. She's a mercenary, I guess. She she speaks oh, okay. like is a, this yeah. your wife's voice or is this like the animal? Yeah, that's just how she talks. She's like, Hey, what's up? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. very exactly. womanly, uh, yeah. very cool. Hey Andrew. Very calm. Hey, you ever seen a guy with this with wear a hat? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know when your wife's talking dirty to you and she yeah. goes, let me see that. <laughs> Let me tug on that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Normal, normal wife stuff. Yeah. Do you take Did this you... woman to be your lawfully wood wife? I do. <laughs> or this man. <laughs> um, Have you ever a... seen... Uh... Hold on. Let me see if I can find this. Do, do you ever watch any of the No Jumper shows? No. I don't know what that is. Adam 22. Oh, I, I know who that is. That's the. Um, I didn't know how to do that with their eyes. Man. That's like, the okay. guy who's like famous. No, for his, people like, are getting it, banned. He's like yeah. a porn star, right? Uh, he's he's kind of just a degenerate. Um, is Adam twenty two the his wife's a porn star or something? Right? They're both porn stars. Oh, they both are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. He I was, basically like. Uh, just, but what he started out doing was like credit card scamming, like taking Sick. hundreds of thousands of dollars from people. Awesome. And, and then he opened like a merchandise store and then he was hosting these like underground rappers, blah, blah, blah. Um, the craziest thing that I've seen as of lately, because he is a porn star, is a porn star uh Unalived, unalive themselves, um, and her memoriam. He 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 had hooked up with her for on video. Okay, 
And so the day she passes away, he he plugs the video. Oh, God. and it's like rest in peace. Link to the video, and I'm like, oh man, brother, brother. It's the porn star equivalent of like Clorox writing something about 9/11. It's. Do you know what I mean when they tweet something about like Black Lives Matter, like during the George Floyd stuff? It's like, whoa, Nabisco, we do not need you <laughs> trying to like jam Oreos. Are Oreos. Good, you know what's really good? Not racism. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not kneeling on someone's neck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know, Dalton might have a different perspective than me, but I'm just being playful. Um, That's actually uh Derek. <laughs> it's Derek Chauvin in my chat right now. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Not, not a fan. Yeah, some some you know, I, I have a lot of conservative friends being from Kansas, but some conservatives really there's been some weird heroified conservatives like um George written, Zimmerman. written house George Zimmerman it's like so li- like even if you I'm I'm he, pretty purely like a, a centrist mm-hmm. written house should not have how do, I, how do I phrase this there's a complexity to it blah 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 I know what you're saying like he never should have been in that put himself in that situation i don't really know the specifics i'm not here to even talk about it my point is just like this guy's definitely not a hero to glorify like no matter he's like yeah that that's the point is is there are there complications that sometimes can get lost in mainstream media yes i think that there's just so many george zimmerman's an even worse one and that was like there's just so many weak dorks like that people are using as role models, and it makes me sad for like the yeah. It's like, dude, for like this future guy kids killed people. No matter yeah, what it, you feel, it it's, it just Zimmerman, makes me sad for like future kids. Yeah, they, they don't have like positive role models. Well, that's what do you think I'm here for? Yeah, the, <laughs> check out his screenplay on Mesopotamia. I don't know. <laughs> you need to cast. There's Dalton. a part in there. Dalton. Almost certainly that should be written for Dalton. For Dalton and also George Zimmerman. Jesus, that would be the worst cameo of a famous person in any piece of entertainment. That would this, just be okay, such this, a bum. It, it would just bum. No, no, I don't even like entertaining this. And I'm always yes anding. I'm always here for but just the idea of a celebrity There's an cameo. Arm. There's an invading right. army. I'll, I'll let it, I'll <laughs> let this. I'm gonna go, but it's a bummer. George Zimmerman is the commanding okay. officer, mm-hmm. and there's an invading army. Okay. And then he turns around, and he goes, "Men, stand your ground." You know what I mean? And then, uh, <laughs> such a bummer. Such a bummer, dude. Just I mean, a bummer. You know, <laughs> You didn't think it was, uh, I like it. it was you I, did I, you I, did I, get, I, you did good it was worth the I like I I I I'm only being playful when I say it's such a bummer but you did a good job with the celebrity cameo that would be just like Brett I heard you trying to trying to quote Mesopotamia hey I know my Mesopotamia um you He's know. actually uh, creating a, a barbershop quartet called the Mesopot- Mesopotamani- Mesopomaniacs. God, that was hard to say. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I, it would have been better if I just said it the first time. I right. apologize. Um, but, uh, yeah, you you want to hear the most interesting ritual of ancient Mesopotamia? Yes. And this is what I'm writing it about. And I'm sorry to tell you about it if I'm jamming it in there. At least it helps me write to tell others about it, especially on podcasts. Um, no one steals on this. Do people steal ideas on this thing? No. Well, they, they can't write like me. How about that? No, but ready the idea? Here's the idea. It's called the Substitute King. And 
ancient Mesopotamians had a ritual where when the high priest sensed evil spirits in the temple, they would jettison the king off to safety right up the flagpole. <laughs> they would jettison the king off to safety and then they would institute in his place a substitute king who would rule for one week. Why? The thought was that king would have the evil spirits root themselves in him. And then after the week, they would kill that king and rebring back the real king. And life would carry on. Huh. So this is a comedy that follows that individual, the substitute king. He has a week of partying, harem of women, drinking. One day in the middle of the night, his best friend who he you know brings into the kingdom with them is drunkenly peeing in the middle of the night and he overhears the high priest being like we will slay him at dawn and his friend in his drunken stupor is like oh shit and like runs to his friend throws him over his shoulder we got to get out of here they escape they jump in a fishing boat they wake up in a faraway land and it's a road buddy adventure comedy on the that way went back that went way different than I. This is what I thought. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my best. Uh, Go movie, movie narrator. In a world where Ernest is the substitute king, and like he's like, "What are you doing over there, Vern?" And and they're like sharpening sticks. They're about to kill yeah. him. And yeah. then he goes, "Uh oh!" And then uh, that's basically all I got. Um, but that's that's the premise. It's Ernest it goes to her. substitute king. Ernest saves Mesopotamia. Well, yeah, it's like Ernest's. It would be like Ernest's life is about to change. You mean I'm king? Introducing the substitute king. Yo yo yo. And then it's just like the hottest chicks being like, "You want this, Ernest?" Yeah. And he's like, "Boy, do I!" <laughs> the substitute king on Miramax <laughs> on Fox uh, P, uh, Peacock. P yeah, Peacock streaming Peacock. Wait, let's oh. see. Hold on, let's do. Um, wonder if I can find this. <laughs> I hope I can. Here we go. Ooh, do not check social media when there's a sports game that you're currently watching and you're just that was so stupid of me why did i do that why you, don't do that i know i know bad idea are you nervous now you yeah, yeah i'm very nervous I'm very nervous i'm the only person who loves you you are going to meet many people who are diehard fans of the u.s soccer team and i'm one of them so i'm a rare bird baby i'm so proud of you you a sports fan um no no problem i well i like doing them i like yeah, doing yeah. sports um i'm really into like strong uh, I, i'm into like strongman stuff though. i saw lit weightlifting stuff on your instagram that's really cool yeah. what uh the other specific um events that are like lifts you like or is uh do you watch i used to grow up watching some of that strongman on espn those were such fun that was fun to watch that um, program they would have the strongman competitions the Net yeah Lions so I, I tried remember to... that yeah, yeah yeah uh you ready for a name drop go on. marius pujanovsky i was about to say that who marius pujanovsky bro did you, you know, know what I, this is <laughs> go uh, no, you can say, say what you're saying. My point is, this is what I love about sports. Sometimes you can just bond with another man by just saying a proper noun you both know. Mm -hmm. and, and it just makes you both go, you know, that's all sports talk is. is just going like, yo, Mahomes. And they're yeah. like, ah, dude, Mahomes. And I'm like, yeah, Mahomes. And that's that right now when I don't often get to say the name Marius Pujanowski. But it's like, hey, we both have this little random plot of land in our brain devoted to this 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 Pujanovsky crop. And have, you never ever seen, have you ever seen this? Wow. Marius Pujanovsky did UFC. 
Yes. Or fighting, or is it boxing or UFC? It's UFC. Okay, and he just fucks him up. Here we go. I've never. Okay. So God, he's just scary to look at, man. Full yeah, screen like- me. Full screen me. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. We're now. This is you know. Joe Rogan ain't got nothing on us, baby. We're watching fighting here, podcasting dude, and oh watching my god. fighting. Oh my god! Dude, look, yeah. the, oh the, god! Oh god! Oh god! First dude, of all, he's, he's the. I think he won like five or six like world like world strongest man, and the, he just absolutely clubbed that guy. <laughs> he just hit him with a like a overhead right. I can't imagine what that would feel like because it's not like it was super graceful. More no, tactical. it was more like a bear hit you with a good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's a different type of punching that like, Dude. you know, it's just. It's His caveman brain. Went it's like, caveman brain. It's not oh, like oh, speed. Oh, it's not like oh. speed velocity. Like it's not quite as. Yeah. It wouldn't be nearly as killer as, you know, Floyd Mayweather can throw a punch that'll. Yeah, would fuck you up even more because his fist is able to move at a velocity. It's like, you know, I love soccer. And the guy who can kick the ball the hardest isn't the guy who can squat the most or has the biggest legs. It's the guy who's the best technique. You right. know what I mean? And it, it's kind of so that's kind of related to that. It's like he has not nearly the technique of other, you know, people who have devoted themselves to boxing, but he also just has a <laughs> maxed out level of muscle that just will automatically put some crazy magnitude behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like just, a there's just too much even. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Crow Magnon. A gorilla. Type. It's just a gorilla. He's a, gr- I'm gonna he's a gorilla. Do it being yeah. Like that's a, I'm going to, I will inflict pain on you. I that will, is a yeah. Polish gorilla, baby. Um, Wait, but yeah, man. That is a uh, fun to fun to joke fun to fun to go down memory lane about Marius Pujanowski. Yeah, my dad was like really into that. He used to do like strongman stuff, and uh, it's cool to like when you're a kid, you kind of get hobbies. I guess to I, I guess this is true for a lot of people. Maybe I'm wrong, but like you develop these hobbies so you can be like dad. I'm getting into this thing, yeah. Like it, you know, and I just kind of found my way into this on my own, mm-hmm. and just being like, "Hey, Dad, look, look at this thing that I do," and him being like, "Why, well, that's you know, my dad is a <laughs> bluegrass singer from uh, Kentucky, so he hits you with yeah. that, motherfucker. I'll tell you what, that's pretty cool." <laughs> motherfucker uh, that's a great <laughs> yeah. that's his that's a great voice for it so he thinks it's dope that you're into into the weightlifting oh yeah uh, it is he, really cool he, he's he's very into it um but no um so i used to really be into like all the um professional sports i was like really into watching soccer because i played soccer for 15 years oh wow oh i love that man that's um, uh i i you know i love soccer so I have an affinity yeah. for anyone who um, so later through, through high school I, I did you know soccer football um oh wow do you get basketball I, wrestling like I, I did you know all that stuff damn and, uh, you were just only ever doing athletic well I grew up and it was just soccer I just played soccer the whole year until um, until I broke my foot skating and then mm. uh, I was still eating like eight thousand to 10,000 calories a day to like keep up with my caloric output. And then I gained, oh my God, I gained, <laughs> I think I gained like 70. No, it was more than that. I think it was like 90 or 100 pounds in like a year. Like, because I broke all five metatarsals in my foot. Oh God. Yeah. That's got to be hard, foot. man. To, I can't imagine going through that. <clears throat> like, so. No one would begrudge you for putting on weight when you break your foot. Oh, everybody. 
I had nothing but jock friends and skateboarder friends. Of course, they begrudged me for it. They were like, oh, little fatty choo choo. Like, they, it was just so, but that's kind of. It's like, dude, <laughs> fuck you. You know how hard I can't just go for a run. Yeah. Like, um, it's so, that's so unempathetic to be like, <laughs> oh, you're getting, you're putting on weight. Whoa. But, I mean, we're also like 16 to 18. Yeah, no, I time. know. So, I, like, not... they don't. I don't expect so, it from them. Oh, a hundred percent. It's it's totally something that I think you would you would definitely do as a sixteen year old. But you know, as a thirty year old, yeah. I would be like, it's such a terrible, <laughs> terrible way to talk to your friend who just went through a really <laughs> fatty choo choo. Oh. Uh, that's really yeah, funny. No, so, what, what did your friend Dalton? Was he one of the ones calling you fatty choo choo? I don't think so. Maybe. Um, I don't oh, really talk God. to a lot of those uh, those guys anymore. Um, yeah, <laughs> Gets well, quieter, trails off, starts crying. Yeah, no, uh, most of those guys just turned out to be uh, losers. Um, mm. They like in what way? They just like got on drugs, uh, and not in a like a cool, sexy way, in like a sad, yeah. I'm stealing the change out of your car way. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah. That's if they're like taking money or petty cash or anything from their friend, it's like, all right, that's a little, come yeah, on, like take your money and help you look for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'll look over you. Were, uh, that's, that's, I see, yeah, 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 okay. I know what you're saying. Um, I joke with my friend Eli. My friend Eli, he he uh, sells or used to sell weed, and so he would have money in his bottom drawer, just like in his living room, the bottom drawer of like a stand at, in his living room. It would just be like 800 to like $1,500 cash at any given time. And I'd always joke with him that like, you know, man, I – I might be willing to just stake this friendship on fifteen hundred dollars, and you know, just block your number and never see you again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just you know, it would it would suck if you like if it ever happened and you were like kind of you know this had been there the day before just to like come hang out or whatever. And he's like, right. "Hey man, I know you've been joking about this for a while, but yesterday." <laughs> That he, happened. He there, can't. There's a note. It says, "Thanks for the money, Brett." <laughs> at the bottom of yeah. <laughs> huh? It's weird. Um, I don't know. It's weird they would use my name, and it you had it two days ago, but then I came over, and then now you don't have it anymore, and no one else has been in your apartment. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't really sound like me, you know? Yeah, and you locked your door and. But no, now, now the the bit with me and him is I'll I'll sort of act like he owes me for not stealing for not stealing. <laughs> like, how noble am I, dude? I'm like such a good friend to you. <laughs> That's pretty good. You remember all those times I didn't steal? Like, you got you a point. Like, yeah, you can't borrow my car. You should just pay me for not stealing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. So, uh, we're at like an hour now. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Um, thank you. I, I really do appreciate you coming on. Uh, that was so fun, man. Go it's ahead. Nice and, uh, to, it's funny, what? man. Like, it's, it's nice where you get to like hang out more with someone. Uh, you don't. You do It's not like we hang out for an hour uninterrupted at the show we did together. And I'm sure I'll see yeah. you at another show, either in Jersey or elsewhere. And, you know yeah, what I mean? Actually, like, um, it's a good hang, but you're, it's just like maybe like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or something. Yeah. I, I think at, at some point I'm probably going to make my way up there. Um, you saw the shows on Wednesdays, right? Yeah. Wednesday show. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll uh, talk about it. Um, but there, there plugs. Yeah. Dalton, that's very kind of you, man. I actually appreciate you listening and it means a lot. And uh, thanks for letting me be on your show. And, if any, you know, Dalton or anyone else who's listening, the plugs, we get the plugs out. Go to brettrabold.com, B R E T R A Y B O U L D. Uh, I have a show on Sirius XM with porn star, legendary retired adult entertainer, Lisa Ann. So if you have their app, you can listen to our show anytime. 
and I got an hour special on YouTube that you can watch my stand up. And then finally, the biggest way to support someone, just follow that Instagram, baby, because you know, people, the gatekeepers that be like a higher number, and it's a good way to follow all of the stuff I work on. I got like an off Broadway show too, and we're gonna take that farther. So yeah. Anyway, those are my plugs. All right. Thank you so much for uh coming on. Uh, Andrew, any plugs? Um, yeah, I actually have uh I have a super awesome thank Rodney you Mullen. so much for listening, everyone. <laughs> I, I have an awesome uh Rodney Mullen documentary that'll be coming out soon. Uh, That's cool, man. Great. Whoa, my favorite skater. He's 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 him. He's the dude. I love he was my favorite skater growing up. I'm dead serious. Yeah, uh, uh it, it was he, super he was I, the most I'm, creative. It was the I'm, most like, whoa, what the fuck did that guy just do? Like more than the and I love I love watching skating, Tony Hawk games and all that. Rodney Mullen was the one where I was like, he does most does the things that my brain was like, what? Yeah, so he invented something like 36 of the staple um Jesus like skateboard great. moves. He's the first artist. person to do like a kickflip, a heel flip. Uh there's a whole lot of stuff that he did. I'm really stoked ever, to like work on this about him. He invented the flying blow job. Have you seen that trick? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's fun to come up with fake yeah. <laughs> yeah. trick. The flying blow job. Uh, the, <laughs> the George Zimmerman flip. <laughs> oh god! Oh, there's a good close to the pod. The Z- hey, the thank Z- you, Z- the thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Brett, for coming. Uh, on. The, uh, he did to, the go, uh, the reverse written house ollie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, Brett, I will. Uh, I'll message you later. Have fun uh, watching your game, man. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Later, guys.